everybody, it's Kelly, and I am back with another Two Page Tuesday layout. So I'm using this very busy background hot dog paper, which is from the Die Cuts with a View Good Eats pad, which is definitely a few years old, so I don't think it's even available anymore. I know when I bought it, I bought it on clearance at Joann Fabrics. And then I'm going to mount that on that green paper from Doodlebug Petite Prints. It's the Pistachio Buffalo Check Wood Grain. And that really picks up the color of the pickles in the background of this paper. So I like the little pop there of color. And then what I'm doing, I have six photos here. So I'm, I decided what I'm going to do is arrange them completely horizontally across the two pages. And I will put um, four on one side, two on the other. And what I like to do when I do this, so they look more like a, a block that's just on going from side to side, is you can see I cut off the border on the right side of the photo block on the left hand paper. And then you'll see here, I'm butting up the um, two photos there as well on the right hand paper. So then I know I want to journal about this a little bit and the paper pad that um, Good Eats paper pad does have some journaling cards and so I grabbed the hot dog and ketchup one. And I'm adding some die cuts so that Soda Cup is from Amy Tangerine Better Together. It's the die cuts from that. Uh, I have that pistachio we love to eat right here which is an L Studio die cut that is... Um, probably from one of their, I think it's Let's Eat was their collection. And then that Good Eats is also from the Ellie Studio um, Let's Eat collection or the Good Eats is from that as well. Then I am looking at putting a border strip on the bottom of this and that's from the Ellie Studio Let's Eat Best Ever paper. So that collection was from 2015. You cannot get that anymore. But I have a folder of kind of food themed papers and embellishments and that kind of stuff. So that's where um, quite a bit of this is coming from. All right. So just matching this up from side to side here. I have a cluster started. And now I'm going to add that border strip on the bottom there. And I just really like the pop of red. It gives the, um, the two photo blocks a place to sit so they don't look like they're hanging out. Now, I didn't plan this very well. I should have uh, had the border strips like just in the repeating pattern <laughs> and I didn't do it. I, I kind of messed up how I wanted to do it, which is fine. I mean, you know, that's not the worst thing in the whole world. I don't think anybody's going to be looking at that and being critical about it. So I do have that one um, piece I cut from the border strip that says yummy. So I'm going to start a cluster up on the top right there. And now what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing, there's a Let's Eat sticker ship sheet so I'm grabbing um, those pieces that little hot dog sticker is uh, from the American Crafts Kauai food sticker book which is from 2019 I think I bought it at Tuesday morning at that point so the there's a little hamburger there that I'm gonna grab now and I'm going to pop him up on foam tape they're kind of funny because they have you know, little faces on them and that kind of stuff, which I think is part of the reason I haven't used them a ton. But this is kind of a fun layout. The story is of my boyfriend and I going to a local drive-in and then a local ice cream store on July 4th and eating some all-American food that day. So we had hot dogs and hamburgers and um, uh, that kind of stuff. So it was fun. And, you know, there's not a ton of drive throughs left, left around the um, country you know, they're much less prevalent than they used to be, at least when I was a kid growing up. So it was really fun to do this. I hadn't been to this one in years. So now I'm going to do the title All American Food. I'm just using my thickers package there to kind of line the title up to make sure that I have enough room for it. And um, those thickers are the American Crafts thickers in the Eric font. And it's kind of a shamrock color or light night shamrock mint that's the color I wanted 
and then just line that. And again, that's picking up on the green in the paper and in the background of the pickle. It's just a nice pop. Because that color is so different from a lot of the yellows, reds, and oranges in the background, that really makes the photos pop on that block. And it also, um, it, it, the busyness of the paper recedes in the background because your eyes have a focus. Also, the photos are darker, so your eye will look at those as well too first. And I, I think that's an important um, thing here. All right, so I have a sticker from that um, American, American Crafts Kauai sticker sheet there. And then I wanted some sort of foundation for that top left cluster there. So I grabbed an Ellie Studio label and that I just keep those in uh, a box all together by color. So adding some more of those Kawaii stickers with that little hot dog. That other sticker there that says we ate here is from that Let's Eat sticker sheet. Going through more of those stickers. You can see there's lots of cute ones in there. Then I have this doodle bug shape shake sprinkles time for uh, takeout. Can't talk today. Time for a takeout um, sheet. And I'm adding in some little um, soda bottles and cans. And I think, you know, they're made to look like Coke without actually being Coke, right? So and uh, I just thought that was really cute to add kind of that drive-in sort of theme to it. So I was going to put that one sticker there and I decided to move it to the bottom here. So now you have a nice triangle of, well, actually it's not really a triangle because I'm going to have four spots, but you have a nice, you know, you have some nice emphasis around the photos with the embellishment clusters. I added that dinner sticker there from the Let's Eat collection. I'm adding that good food um, and a good company sticker there from the Let's Eat collection. And then kind of playing around with that Let's Eat collection as a um, sticker from the Let's Eat collection as well. So I've got some gray going on in here, which is a neutral. And I kind of like that because the pictures have some grays and blacks in them. It's one of the reasons I picked that color. So here comes some more of those bottles. And then just kind of getting those down. All right, there we go. So we have all those on. Not, you know, lots of different collections on here, which I love. So then I was kind of toying. I want some sort of dot or something here. So I go to my um, enamel dots from Altenew. It's the Green Meadows collection where I got these. And they're a good match to that pistachio color of the paper. And so I'll just add three in each collection. Just gives just a little, you know, a little something different there. And I love enamel dots, obviously. I use them all the time, right? So guys, here is the still shot and a couple of detail shots coming up. Hope you guys are all well and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.